When people think of the hardest achievements in Minecraft, there are a couple that come to mind, such as the Adventure Time Achievement, of course, and also the How Did We Get Here achievements. And both of these achievements are really, really hard to get, and I'm gonna be doing this in hardcore mode. Did I know what I was doing? No, but we will be going on an adventure trying to get the Adventure Time Achievement in this video. Make sure to subscribe for more videos, and make sure to like and hit the bell, because you get to see more craziness from my channel. So, let's get right into it. It's adventuring time in hardcore mode. I can now put hardcore in the title and get a lot of views. That's how this game works, right? That's how this Minecraft game works. You put hardcore in the title and everyone's like, woo! Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Make sure to subscribe if you haven't already. I do appreciate you guys watching this video and we're off. We're going to go ahead and start the adventuring time. Right now we're in the jungle biome and this, this is huge. This is actually huge. <gasps> That's even huger. What? Okay, huge start for what we want to try and do. We need jungle hills and jungle edge. I don't know if it's called sparse jungle though. Um, we got Minecraft forest biome here. I'm doing this challenge in 1.20.1 of course, the latest version. If there's a jungle edge biome or if it's called sparse jungle, I don't know what sparse jungle is. Sparse jungle is a newer biome variant of the jungle biome. So I need to look up like a, a newer version of that. Okay, it is like, I, I wasted a lot of time. So you might've noticed that I'm kind of like in the same spot for a while. I got a list finally. This is very necessary because I need to chalk off what I'm doing. So I don't know if there's a hills version of this because that matters. Getting a hills version of the thing matters. So here we have sparse jungle. That's the bamboo jungle right there. We might have all of the biomes from the jungle. I don't know if they have the hills inside of this version of minecraft i'm so used to having like birch birch hills desert desert hills but i haven't seen that in the modern version of the minecraft so i don't exactly know if the list i'm looking at is accurate or not is that a birch biome oh please tell me that's a birch biome oh my goodness gamers yo this is going so well old growth birch forest is the new growth near here let me just knock off quickly river biome Yep, there you go. River biomes. You think I know a lot about this game based on what I'm doing, but I actually don't because I don't know the biomes in this version of Minecraft. I don't even know the biomes in the other version of Minecraft. I just know majority of the biomes because I've actually played this game a lot religiously. I know like a lot of the biomes already. Minecraft Birch Forest. Okay, we got the Birch Forest. This is a grove. This is a grove. This is a grove. This is a grove. <laughs> Prison Peaks. Now, obviously, because I've been wandering around like a mad lad trying to get all the biomes near me, I haven't been focusing on food. So that is something I'll be doing right now. Yes, yes, melons. I won't try to bore you guys with like cave adventures because cave adventures are cool. I love caves. I really do love caves. But the problem is that's kind of like counterintuitive of what you guys came here to watch. You guys came here to watch a mad crazy person running around the lands going, yes, yes, I got the beach biome. Yeah. You came here to see that. And I'm out here like doing productive materials stuff. Like what kind of Minecrafter are you like? Getting as much of melons as possible because it's basically our early food source. And then if we run into a village, that is going to be absolutely huge. Because if we run into a village, that immediately supplies us with like a lot of the necessary stuff without having us having to go mine and all that stuff. Let's go top of the mountain because the top of the mountain might be another biome. There's a zombie that's currently chasing me. What a nerd. Stony Peaks? Okay. Yes! Yes! Stony Peaks is amazing! We don't need to go mining at all. Yes! Yes! No visitors! Who got that reference? I know I said I wouldn't bore you guys with the mining stuff. It's just the fact that it's here. Like, if it was in a cave, I wouldn't be the one mining it. But the fact that it's legit surface iron. Like, that's just so free real estate, dude. That was dangerous. Well, number one, I'm kind of dumb, I'm trying to dumb. Yeah, 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 yeah. You can hear the comments at you now. I'm trying to, like, look around to see if maybe there's, like, some sort of new biome, but I don't see anything near the Stony Peak except for more jungle. So we're going to wait for this to cook up, and then we're going to make our move out of this place. All right, so I have enough iron right now to make me a full set of iron armor, and then I have to make the axe, and then I can make a shield. What? No chest? What kind of dungeon has no chest? Bruh. You, you need like chests within a dungeon. I, I, I don't know what to tell you. Like that's like a necessity. By the way, it is definitely likely that we need to go for the cave biomes as well. Too bad. We don't need to like stress out about going for the- Bruh. 
Excuse me. Excuse me. What? That was way too close. Oh, there's a desert there. When the leaves turn a certain color, they indicate the biome that they're in. Of course, I could be wrong and it could be just the ocean biome that's there, but it'd be very weird for the ocean biome to give that kind of color. <gasps> Wait, that's a mesa. Yes. This is going so well early. There's wooded badlands. There's eroded badlands. So we need to find eroded badlands. I don't know how eroded badlands looks like. This is a warm motion. Yep. Um, let me get this. Let me get this. Let me get this. Let me get this. Lush caves. Okay. Look at the blue in the water. Oh my. Oh, there's so many of them. What is this? Look at the blue in the water. No. What did they put in this water, bro? Okay. Well, that's both good and bad. It's an abandoned city, but there's a desert temple right there. And the, the, there's still wheat here. Okay, that's good. <laughs> Not a lot of like really good stuff, but it's still pretty good. Oh, what's this over here? This is also wooded badlands. What wood? Yeah, this wooded badlands crap is getting annoying because like, because this this is all still wooded because there's freaking shrubbery. What? What is this? Minecraft badlands? Yes. Oh, finally. Oh. Now what the frick is eroded badlands, bro? Eroded badlands is the rare variant of the badlands biome. That's another village. There is some hay bales down there. I might go get that. We need to find freaking eroded variants of the badlands. Basically, it's a bunch of spires, right? Wait. Oh, that might be it. Right there. Right there might be eroded badlands. Give me the eroded badlands. Come on. Yes. Yes, I got it! For a split second, I got it! Yes! Oh, that's a minuscule! But I don't care! Officially, we are done with the Mesa. Stony Shore. What? Are you game? What's with the warm biomes? Oh, I got lukewarm. Yes! I'm out of these damn warm biomes. We got lukewarm oceans. We got plains. Yes! Now we need, um cold oh oh i didn't even see that i was paying attention to the biomes i didn't even see the ship i'll get the map because if the map does like give me good stuff <laughs> finally oh my god it took us a while to knock out planes by the way can we can we talk about that we've been stuck inside the warm biomes for such a long time and we haven't even come across like savannah or anything like that we just come across the damn infinite void of desert and mesa and uh, with the mix of jungle inside of it okay so we found ourselves a savannah biome i don't exactly know if there's like variants to this biome that we need to find so we need to go on the high mountains and see if that's a plateau Okay, so we got the plateau. That might be a meadows. Yeah, that's probably a meadow biome there. And when there's meadow biomes, the chance for the peaks or the, the cherry grove biomes. Let's get up there and let's uh, explore the meadow biome. Meadow biome. Meadow biome. Okay, so we need one more piece of obsidian to get the one and only enchantment table. Don't know what it is. It just feels refreshing going into a plains biome. Plains biome is one of those biomes that I love to see because there's a lot of crazy biomes in Minecraft and it, this is in its own right the craziest that the plains biomes ever looked. Oh my goodness, dude. But yeah, this is arguably the craziest that the plains biomes ever looked in my, Minecraft now. Either way, it's still very refreshing on occasions to enter a plains biome because it's a little calmer than all the other biomes, you know? Oh. Windswept gravelly hills. That's so random, but hey, appreciate it. Thanks, game. Oh, there's a snowy biome here. Okay, take a look at this. Snowy taiga, frozen river. Speaking of, oh, that looks very promising. Okay, wait. Hey, we need to get the smaller parts here. Snowy plains. Yes. There's actually a village on top of that mountain. I mean, we have to go on top of the mountain because we need to see if we can get some of the mountain ones. Though I don't know if there is a mountain one here. Could be. Could be not snowy beach snowy slope so snowy slopes is the one that we're looking for here fun fact snowy slope doesn't actually exist anywhere within the snowy biome so my efforts here for a good while was actually in vain so let's just cut to the good parts snowy beach we can probably get easily snowy slopes on the other hand that's gonna be very hard because we need to see what minecraft defines as a slope 
<gasps> yes! Ice spikes! Ice spikes! Ice spike! Let's go! <gasps> yeah! Let's go, baby. You're the only cherry tree. Ah, oh, cherry grove. Let's go. Oh, right. Let me just go ahead and get that cold ocean. Let's go. Okay, this has to be snowy beach up here. If it, how could this not be a snowy beach right here? There we go. Snowy beach. We got it. Snowy slopes is like the same as groves, but they're like completely barren. That has to be it. No way. No, it's still snowy plains. I have a feeling snowy slopes might be something that we might get when we find the windswept hills. So I'm not too worried about snowy slopes. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to the regular taiga because I saw that there was a regular taiga somewhere down there. So we kind of want to get to that point where we can get the original taiga. Is there any sign of a normal taiga here? Uh, ooh, right there. Taiga. <gasps> no way. Oh my God. Mama, 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 mama. M -m 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 mega tiger old growth pine tiger never mind old growth wait that was pine tiger over there right so i got both of them because this right here this was pine that was spruce yes cherry grove cold ocean i need to find a dark forest deep cold ocean oh i need to find the deep variants of those oceans oh no all right well that's fine that's something that we need to do well we're missing the flower forest and then the windswept hills we need to find that I think that's a swamp right there, by the way, guys. Okay, well, this is a small swamp I am. So I got all of the normal ocean types. And I could easily go back and find the deep cold ocean. I don't think it's worth it to go all the way back now. The mangrove is an important biome to find. Oh, I found... Okay. We can make the, the enchantment table if we go to another village. <laughs> Deep frozen ocean. It's possible that there might be a deep cold ocean right here. Deep cold ocean. Bruh. I need mushroom. I need a lot of the mountainous biomes. The flower forest biome. I need. Oh. Wait, wait, so look at that. It's the dark forest. Let's go. I still need to find a lot of the mountainous biomes, but we need to find a good area to like locate for the mountainous biomes. The flower forest is definitely a biome that you can find on mountains. We just need to find that and we're looking pretty good. That is really high up, but I don't know if that's high enough up. Let's just do some exploring inland so I can see ideas to where we should go from here. What is it? <gasps> jagged peaks! I was not expecting jagged! You guys don't know what I'm trying to look for. I'm trying to look for the snowy slope. That's the main biome that I need right now out of this area. This doesn't look like it's gonna have the windswept, which is fine. But if I could get snowy slopes, that would save me a bit of the hassle. All right, guys, I am back. So I still have a decent memory, of like, like what biomes I have. Flower forest, I know that. Mushroom. Uh, I'm also missing a lot of the mountainous stuff, so we have to go find some some mountainous biomes. And I'm also missing oceans, and still need the deep dark, and still need the dripstone. And aside from that, I mean, I have all the mesa, I have all of the savanna, I have all of the deserts, all of the, the stuff there. I have meadows, I have grove, I have jagged peaks, I have gravelly windswept hills. I even found a small cherry grove biome, so that's immediately like we're, we're set for a lot of the the stuff here uh oh oh wait wait is that what i think it is oh my god that might be th what i think it is i'm also gonna check out the, the plains biome over there because that's sunflowers i don't know if sunflower plains exist but i'm gonna have to go check it out oh yes snowy slopes yes oh my god yes we got snowy slopes out of the way <laughs> Ah, oh, my legs. Sunflower Plains! Yes! I don't know if there's a regular water ocean biome, like a regular, regular water ocean biome. I think that might be just be lukewarm. Minecraft Ocean. Okay, so Minecraft Ocean does exist as a normal biome type. So now we need to find deep ocean. So basically, I have enough for the enchantment table. Where is he? Where is he? Ah, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Yes, sir. Now we can do some enchants, so might as well, we'll do the enchants on our armor. If this is all projectile protection, I'm gonna take a look at my axe. Yep, all right, sure. Protection one, 
that. Protection one, give me that. Okay, we have some protection on us now. Completely forgot that I need to make this. Finally converted out. It was a lot of conversion because we had to keep throwing away the wheat, put it back in my inventory, throw it away. Because the guy just have such a full inventory. Now I have three stacks of bread. Oh! A service dripstone. Yes! We got a dripstone caves. Oh, wait. That right there might be a windswept um savannah. The little rock formation up top, that could be it because the way that windswept savannas work, I believe they're supposed to be like exposed stone. And that could be the same for the other ones as well. Because it's, I remember when I was looking for the mountain biomes, I was looking for the exposed stone areas because that's like usually what it would represent. But that's stony peaks now and jagged peaks. So let me see here. This could be it right here. Stony peaks? What? That's an okay horse. I like the horse. Okay. Um, hmm. Oh, shoot. Oh, my goodness. <gasps> what? Did I just get the best horse? Because that's a four block jump. Wait, 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 wait. Hang on a minute. Hang on a minute. That's a four block jump. And then speed. The hearts, I think we can have more hearts. But that's like the perfect horse. Wait, what? This will make my life so much easier. Maybe. That right there. That might make me think that it is a windswept hills at this point i don't know what's windswept and what isn't windswept forest and this is stony peak how how in the absolute world are we supposed to do this uh, 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 this is the ocean i think right here so what i'm gonna do real quick is i'm gonna try to find the deep ocean right now since I'm here. Is there a clear sign of where a deep ocean might be? Maybe that way. Like right over the ruins-ish? Yep, got it. Deep ocean. By the way, on a side note, I kind of understand what to look for when it comes to the windswept hills. I completely forgot about this, but coarse dirt. Coarse dirt exists on those hills. So coarse dirt is like the key indicator. So I don't know if I should go back and find the, the windswept savannas because it might be more of a lost cause with that savanna because windswept hills can be normally found next to mangroves. I notice that a lot. They're usually found around like mangroves for some reason. I I've seen them before and they're like this weird savanna structure type thing. It's a, it's a little confusing, but I straight up just lost my horse. Wait. <laughs> Oh, here he is. Okay. I never realized that there was a river next to here, which is what got me confused. Like, why? I looked around, like, since when was there a river? It's possible that these windswept hills are also in, like, very crazy mountain generation. I think it's similar to that of, like, the old beta versions of Minecraft. You'll see what I'm talking about when, when we see the biome. But I think, I think that's where the windswept hills are. And that's why windswept savannas exist, because they have, like, their own weird amalgamation as well. Oh, I wasn't even paying attention. Flyer Force! Yes! Who, 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 who? I was not looking. I was looking at my phone. Oh, that would have been so terrible. <gasps> that could be it right there. That is the crazy amount of formation I was talking about earlier. There could be winds up forest there, there could be winds up plains there. We need to get in there and see if there's wind swept by them in that crazy formation. We actually have a lot of possibilities here because there's a lot of wind swept. So the wind swept planes will actually have a set color. So I'm looking for that color right now. Uh, the freaking wind swept is going to be so irritating. Where is this gosh darn wind swept? <gasps> Wait! Oh, that's. What? Yes! 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 Windswept forest! I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. I always knew it. I always knew it. I always knew it. For some reason, the mangroves are an indication of where the windswepts are. Why? Don't ask me. Ask Minecraft. Because mangroves are the key to windswept. Oh my god. Windswept hills! Yes! Oh my god. We can actually do it. We can actually do this.
for some reason, mangroves are the reason for those Castron windswept. I don't know what it is between the correlation, but that's what I've noticed. So obviously there's the windswept savanna, the mushroom biome, and then deep lukewarm. We're down to three biomes. We're you're down to three biomes and the deep dark, but that's just, we're gonna suffer later, all right? The most important thing right now is me being alive. Oh my God. <laughs> We saw the mangrove. The mangrove had the winds up hills near it. If the mangrove stretched out further down and the jungle doesn't take up all the arid biomes, the hot biomes, there is a chance that we might find a windswept savanna over in this direction. Is there really nothing? Wait, what's that? That right there, what is that? This has to be just the windswept forest that we just found. Damn, bro. What? You've got to be shitting me right now. What the actual hell is, oh, what the actual heck, dude? I don't, I, what, what, I just, what, what? We got it, whatever, I don't care, we got it. I'm happy that we got it, really happy that we got it. But, what the actual frick? God, windswept biomes are a pain to find. But it's near mangroves and it's near swamps, so such a random biome. Why is it like that? Okay, so before we have to go and officially go into the deep dark, we have to absolutely 100% ow, 100% have to um oh hello there you don't you dare take this away from me I don't see any oh right there right there is a deeper part right there surely deep lukewarm ocean yes we have now reached our last biome everyone and this is a biome i don't know if we can take the horse with us because this biome is still going to be rough and even if the last biome is going to be the deep dark because we don't i don't know if the deep dark counts i'm not going to go to the deep dark unless it really matters but unfortunately i can't take the horse with me because the horse the thing is this could be on an island and because of that we can't take the horse with us i gotta read on what to expect the mushroom biomes the way that they work is that they basically spawn in like the furthest area away from anything deep ocean is what we're looking for so this ocean might be a prime candidate for a mushroom biome because of how vast and open it is there's a c value and it's the negative right now judging by the value now we're nowhere near so i'm trying to kind of use it as a compass almost we need the continentless value to get lower there's a chance that we might need to find a different ocean biome i at least know what to expect i know how to track biomes now i'm going to go to a different ocean biome because i don't think this, this is going to be having any kind of like you know <laughs> trying to find an ocean to like leave and stuff and now i've ended up in a mesa biome so <laughs> hey guys made it back to where we started uh made it back to exactly started this is that over there is where we started because <laughs> you can see that you can see the coordinates right back there is where we started oh my god uh because finding an ocean biome is so difficult with all the land masses bro i literally just need to find an, a good deep ocean biome to find this damn place can't find a gosh darn ocean biome. Is that a flower forest right here near spawn? Ugh, whatever, we got the flower forest, but you know, I, I it was one of those biomes that I had, like the, one of the last five. By the way, guys, I just want to clarify that because this is definitely the last biome that I, well, aside from the deep dark, of course. I'm, I'm gonna assume that the deep dark is a, a biome that we might need to get eventually, but because this is the last like biome and it's taking a long time to get to it, what I'm probably going to do to save your time and to save just the, like a lot of time in general for the video. So by the way, guys, I just want to say that 
This is like the last biome, right? And of course, everyone knows that because of this, the last biome, me searching for this biome is going to take forever. And I don't want to make a whole Let's Play series of me finding a mushroom biome. While that is a very interesting idea, I don't want that to be a thing only because it's literally going to be like three episodes. <laughs> so what I'm going to do is that I'm going to try my best to like find a mushroom biome. And if I can't find it, do a next recording session, find this gosh darn mushroom biome, and I'm going to do a big time lapse of it, starting now. Crap, crap, no, I have to find another ocean biome. Oh, wait, it's at negative eight. Let's go. Oh, no, 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 I was not paying attention, 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 oh, no, 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 oh, my God, it's it. Okay, guys, I just want to clarify, I would have had more of an exciting reaction, but I scared the life out of me because of the freaking puffer fish. I'm usually the type of person to be so aware of my surrounding area. So that startled the absolute crap out of me. When I saw the beam, and I'm like, oh shoot, I'm in the freaking puffer fish area. Oh my God. And now we have to go inside and find the deep dark. <laughs> we didn't get the achievement. So that means that we have to go in and find the deep dark. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be establishing a safety zone. What I mean by this is that place down torches. This is hard mode, so play reasonably. How in the world am I going to do this? Okay. Um, you can travel a lot of distances in cave. One thing I'm going to do, though, the last thing I need is loading in a lot of chunks. It loads in entities for those chunks. So the last thing I need is for that to happen. So that's what I did there. Some of you guys at home, you might be wondering, why is this such a nerve wracking moment? Because the thing is, hardcore is still hardcore and I've never lived hardcore ever, ever. So this is completely new territory for me. This is the moment that I've been waiting for. I've got all the biomes done. All I need is this last one. Established a bit of a safety zone back here. Four diamonds, because I can't get enchants with the axe for sharpness. At least not easily. Nothing more else to do but just to explore, huh? Here we go. What the actual diamonds everywhere too, bro. I see them, but I don't need them. Okay, well, there's diamonds on the ground. I, you, you know, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Protection one. Yes, I'll keep you as a memorial of peace. Did a bit of strip mining. Diamonds. Okay, thank you so much, game. Oh my god. I have to make up the craft table. Projectile protection. You know what? At this point, might as well. Yes. This in itself is a bit nerve wracking. Just mining. Because the thing is, like, it's one thing to be, um, you know, doing a normal let's play, doing all that stuff, and making your first run. But this, this is a potential achievement ender. Like, this is, and, and in hardcore, I, I see what the game wants. I see what the game has in mind for me, and I'll play that game. I was regretting the idea of mining underneath a mushroom biome. 
I knew that, that there was a way. I at least I've heard of a way to find the deep dark. If you find a mountainous biome, you can mine underneath it and there'd be a deep dark there. Should have went out and done that. More diamonds, thank you, I guess. Come on. I'm sorry, what? <laughs> the butt of deep slate I mind. I don't think this is all of it because I place some down, but you know, get the idea. Still a lot of deep slate. The the deep dark I know how to find on a normal circumstance. Only sure? Wait, does that mean that there's actual land? A debatable option is to actually just mine straight up. The only reason why I'm willing to stay in the caves is because I've already committed to it, so I'm gonna keep doing it. If this if that was just a stony shore that was there, that means that inland is this way, because the frozen ocean was that way. So the general area where there would be, let's say, a mountain biome. Which, of course, that's going to be very hard to find. But the general area for a mountain biome would be inland, not back where the ocean is. What is that? Oh my god, we did it. 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 We have 16 diamonds. This is the loot that we ended up with. Shout out to our horse name in the comments. Name the horse down in the comments, please. Oh my god. That's insane. We got it. We got it. Oh my gosh, we got it. Oh, we got it. Thank you guys so much for watching. Comment down your challenges for me down below. I'll try to do it. Horse. We did this one, move on to the next one, I suppose. If you like the video, like, subscribe, and subscribe, and be top of the top. All right, guys, next video, take care and good. Bye. <laughs>